Praise Jesus, everyone. Today is December 1st, 2020, and guess what? We are still here. We are still with Jesus Christ, and we're still not listening to strangers. What a blessing it is to be in the hands of the Lord and in his hedge of protection. It's an awesome thing to know Jesus Christ, to know him as the one true living God, and to not be manipulated and pushed back and forth by the waves of the sea, by strangers, by false prophets, by strange teachings and doctrines. You know, a lot of people just want to be entertained, so they get on the internet, they look for that entertainment, and if you're a Christian, then maybe you're looking for Christian entertainment, Christian messages, and then you start to get into those end-day end apocalyptic prophetic messages, and then it starts to scare you, and then the next thing you want to do is just be fearful. Jesus did not call us to be fearful of the world. He didn't call us to worry about tomorrow. He said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added unto you. And also, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Sufficient for the day is its own worries or its own concerns. That is how we have to live. We live on the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread that came down from heaven. He is the living word of God. I encourage you to really get to know the voice of Jesus Christ. Receive his Holy Spirit for real. Don't just collaborate with what a bunch of people are saying on the internet or what everyone is saying about their dreams. Jesus did not promise us that we would be led by dreams or by visions or by biblical interpretations or words of brothers or sisters. He promised the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to remind us things that he has already taught us. You know, things that we've read in the Bible or that he's taught us as we prayed and sought after his truth. But then also he tells us of things to come in the future. Are we really connected to the Holy Spirit? Have we received him? Or are we deceiving ourselves, listening to prophets on the internet, prophets in the false churches? Ever since I was a small child, I have heard the prophets, the false prophets, give their end day prophecies. And every single prophecy that they gave of when the world was going to end and how things were going to happen, it has all failed. That's what they have in common. I don't give any end day prophecies of when the end times will come or how they will come. But I do hold on to Jesus's words, the things that Jesus spoke. The things that Jesus spoke are true. They are faithful. And if we listen to the words of Jesus, then he will guide us into everlasting life. He knows how to individually guide every single one of us. But you cannot be guided just by the Bible or by another brother or sister's words. Don't become fearful looking around. Don't be fearful listening to other people. Get to know Jesus for yourself. Seek first his righteousness. Seek after him with all of your might. He will be found when you pray and diligently seek him.